These theories will make you question everything. So remember, this is for entertainment purposes only. Let's check it out. 2030, the sun is blotted out and secrets lost. Page 136, let's go. More than 11 times, the moon will not want the sun, each augmenting and declining by degree, placed so low that little gold will be seen while sowing, so that after famine the discovery of the secret will be lost. Nostradamus appears to be suggesting here that the natural cycles of the planets will be broken and that the sun will fail to light the world, causing famine. His pun on the word, or in line three, or can mean both gold in the sense of the sunrise and of alchemy, and now also suggests a link to the secret of the Philosopher's Stone. The search for the Philosopher's Stone and 428 to 2028 discovery of the philosopher's stone if the philosopher's stone is discovered as nostradamus elsewhere suggests in 2028 then the date of this quatrain may be set at 2030 when the newly found secret is once again lost see 229 and 429 to 2029 the sun one and the sun two summary nostradamus foretells a brief two-year hiatus in human ignorance 2028 to 2030 during which the secrets of the philosopher's stone are briefly known then the sun is concealed for 11 days a comet strike or a volcanic eruption are the possible causes and for whatever reason the secret will be lost so guys here it mentions the philosopher's stone will be found also um, we can get into that as well if you want. Thank you for your comments. Please like my videos and follow for much more. Nah, that didn't scare me at all. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm sitting here calculating the time. Okay, this is 2023, 2030. Uh, we're going to in 2024. So you might as well say 2024. So you got like six years. I'm, I'm thinking that. And then when she said sun blotted out, I, I, and, and, that sounded to me so much like volcano before she even said volcano towards the end. You know what I mean? We've seen, I know I have talked about that a ton on this channel. You know what I mean? A volcano eruption so powerful that it gets in the, trapped in the atmosphere and it blocks out the sun, sending us into pretty much like an ice age. Hearing that and thinking about certain things we've seen or, or happened, war I kind of thought about that as well like yeah it's not good so everybody thought that the world was going to end um the year 2000 you know Y2K oh, yeah. they also thought it was going to end in 2012 and apparently everybody thought it was going to end uh, September 23rd so we go through these pole shifts this is a universal cycle that continuously happens usually the world is reset and whatnot um but with mankind since we are so strong we do have underground bases and things like that so there will be some loss but there's also going to be a lot of people who do survive and nostradamus said he could see the end of the world but he couldn't see it to the end of time so he said he saw the sun go supernova and he also said he saw the earth be literally obliterated but that wasn't the end of mankind that was the end of this planet and it's going to happen in millions of millions of years down the road when the sun specifically turns into a red giant and then into a white dwarf and then it's half its mass but also when this happens the sun is burning so much carbon within itself that when it ends um, when it can no longer consume that carbon then it implodes upon itself and then it will incinerate the world but mankind is going to be taken away from there um, way before this happens what happens is that um, humans are transported to the constellation of Orion now this is all gonna happen on that third dimensional timeline these end-of-the-world scenarios after the nuclear apocalypse um, we're not staying on that 3d timeline just so you know 
But these are some of the things that Nostradamus did see in his visions and did prophesize. He spoke about it. People thought he was crazy, but he wasn't because there are people who can view different timelines, who can see in the future, see these future events happening. And he wasn't the only one. So what he was seeing and what he was predicting was the sun imploding upon itself, but yet again, not touching humanity. Humanity was far gone before that even happened. So hopefully this gives you some clarity. Love you. So everybody- No, it just confuses people even more. Who do you believe? You know what I mean? The religious people are gonna believe their religious beliefs as it should. Other people are gonna go with, okay, is this? Other people are gonna go with science different things like that, you know what I mean? Which the whole connection of the sun going supernova like a star makes a lot of sense to me as well. You know, the possibility of that happening. So if we look at the sun right now, we, we don't see that. It's nowhere near like half mass or anything like that. So we don't have anything to worry about now. So when she said like millions and millions of years, it kind of makes sense, you know what I mean? Also with science, is this why they're trying to see if we could see if there's another planet that's habitable? All of this stuff is kind of intertwined to me. All of it. But it's interesting nonetheless to think about. Oh my goodness. Has Nostradamus once again predicted something correctly and accurately? Nostradamus predicted that King Charles will abdicate and unexpected mystery king will take his place. If we have a look over here, there is the, the document. 16th century um, astrologer and seer Nostradamus is pretty famous for his predictions. But right after the Queen of England passed away and her son King Charles took over the throne, Nostradamus's certain prediction is now surfacing. An author and leading expert on Nostradamus, Maria Reading, has suggested that the seer predicted the exact year of the Queen's death in cryptic poems written in 1555. Reading had written about Nostradamus' poems and wrote the preamble is that Queen Elizabeth II will die circa 2022 at the age of around 96, five years short of her mother's term of life. And according to Reading, when Nostradamus mentioned the words King of the Islands in one of his poems, the astrologer was referring to the fact that much of the Commonwealth will break away during the reign of, um, during King Charles III's reign. He has also claimed that Prince Charles will be 74 years old in 2022 when he takes over the throne. But the resentments that are held against him by a certain proportion of the British population following his divorce from Diana actually is still present and persists. According to Reading, King Charles will be forced to abdicate due to his age and after that a certain someone will take over who was never expected to rule the throne. A man will replace him who never expected to be king means Charles' eldest son, Prince William, is maybe not in the picture? So who is it? Harry? Nostradamus' predictions have been quite accurate over the years and most of I feel like, I don't know, man. I think if anything happens catastrophic in any scenario to, let's see, a volcano or with the whole um this situation here with harry and the prince and all of that type of stuff and everything like that anything that happened we can point to any type of philosopher or anyone who said they've seen the future and find some way to connect them to it do y'all feel like that as well i feel like with the titanic they was they found this book where this guy predicted it to happen you know what i mean i feel like with any event we can find somebody who predicted it and kind of got lucky. I don't know, I just be feeling like that sometimes though, you know? Right, correct, this book is scary, but I just want to highlight some of the things I just feel that, um, you know, is knowledgeable to people. You know, so going on from here, 2022, um, you know, sunny war breaks out. You know, this is something, you know, the birth of the Antichrist, um, the winter freeze, someone mentioned that, the great storm, you know, all these are obviously in the next 20 years, so end, you know, of the monarchy. Why do y'all look this stuff up? Uh, I guess y'all can say the same thing about, with me about conspiracy theory, so I get it. 
But uh, that's one thing I've always tried to stay away from. You know what I mean? Like trying to be, predict or see what when the end of time is. I don't want to know, bro. I just want to be walking along and just it happened. That works for me. Um, what's your going? You know, even this. Emancipation of Muslim women. So... She's all the way back in, like, 2050. There is quite a lot in this book. Just to read, just to, like I said, if they've got stuff on in here that has happened, you know, imagine this is predicted. You know, at least you've got a little bit of an insight to... You know, what could possibly happen? Um, 2069, global war. It's 20, what is this, 2080, 2081 tsunami, it's saying. You know, let me go to, so here it says, the end of the end, as it be, is, you know, 7074. So let's just go to that page. And here it says the joke is on us. You never know. Right. Nah, did y'all did y'all see that last part? I'm going back to that. It said the joke is on us. Everything humanity thought would last will be lost in the midst of time. We are simply part of a whole and relevant even to ourselves no longer. We are simply part of a whole and relevant, even to ourselves, no longer. That was confusing. Now I know what you're thinking. What about everyone that's left behind? What about all the other people? More information from the convoluted book series. Flora says, I was told that some will be left behind. I thought that sounded cruel. It's not cruel because each soul is given the choice. And if they are not moving and evolving, it's because they have chosen not to. It says it's all right because it's only a game doesn't matter what happens because it's all a game it's all a play and the things that are happening are happening for a reason and that reason is to test each human being to find out where they are in their own soul's evolution if we hold peace and light in the body Flora says there's so many people that aren't going to understand what's happening she says she doesn't want to call them ordinary but and it says they are not ordinary they only seem ordinary it's a mask that they are wearing but they are changing yes some will choose to not awaken and that is their choice and we have to respect it they have been given the same choice. That's why I always say that. You know what I mean? I never want to force. That's just like your beliefs. You, you should never force your beliefs on someone. You know, when I say, oh, man, unplug us from the Matrix. If people want to continue to walk around plugged up in the Matrix, that's their own choice. And that's cool. You know what I mean? I never want to force that or force anyone on any, force that on anyone. None of your beliefs or my beliefs. Voice as every other soul. And that's OK. It will be fine. The more people that awaken will take this journey and the more there will be in the new earth. And that's why so many of you are doing this work at this time. Everyone you speak to, you are doing the work. It says you may not be aware, but you are acting like Christ. Everyone you speak to becomes a disciple and they go out and in turn awaken other people. It is working and it, it's all happening soon. They say that your body is your own universe. If every person creates peace and harmony in their own universe, then that's the universe they will create in the fifth dimensional earth. Imagine your thoughts becoming energy. The more energy you give it, the stronger it becomes. It says when you send out this energy, it manifests and becomes real. It becomes physical. If you send out that there's going to be peace, then peace will follow. But if you continue to say, oh, but the war is getting worse and those politicians are making a big mistake, because then you are creating that reality. And this is why everything in the world is so negative and divisive right now. Because the true people in power realize that we as humans are creator beings. Our thoughts our word is what shapes the reality around us. So that's why they continue to show us the negative images. They continue to show us that the world is getting worse and worse. This is why they show all of these movies of the apocalypse being destruction. They don't show the movies that the apocalypse means the unveiling of information, which is what it actually is. They show us all the death and the destruction so that that becomes our thoughts. That's what we talk about. And then that's how we create that timeline. So well, they need to make this other stuff entertaining because those like apocalyptic shows and movies, they are so entertaining. <laughs> they entertaining, man. That's what it be, bro. We're drawn in from the trailer. From the word go, we're drawn in. So they got to make this other stuff entertaining so it'd be fun. 
So instead of going on to the New Earth timeline, we go on to the New World Order timeline. Yep. It's the New Earth, New Jerusalem, whatever different religions call it. Everyone kind of talks about this. And then there's a New World Order timeline. Yeah. If you can create a new reality by coming to peace and harmony inside of your body, then why is there all this information about how sick and weak our bodies are? So that we have disharmony in our universe, and then we create a disharmonic world. And we go back to the idea that light is information, and darkness is the lack of information. This explains the censorship of any information outside the mainstream narrative. Now I know what you're thinking. She got a point though. You know what I mean? I've been saying for the longest, bro. I've got to like purge my my timeline. I've done so I'm a little bit, but I need to do it some more and, and really put positive affirmations throughout my day. No type of ratchet or or just, you know what I mean? Just filth amongst my timeline. My algorithms is all messed up. <laughs> you know what I mean? All messed up. You may get something motivating here you may get some food stuff here and then you get some drama here and then you get some it's just all messed up so i need to do better at that because she's right i i believe your thoughts do become things and what you focus on is what the universe gives you back now i'm not one for conspiracies but i recorded this because i was um i didn't get to see it i was at work for the week Pay attention to this guy and the guy next to him. Watch what happens. This is interesting. They're going to cut to the scene. Now they're up front. Coffin's coming in. Now watch. They're going to come into focus. Now these two look like a father and son. Same noses, eyebrows, foreheads, similar ears, everything. They look like they're related. Father and son. Watch. I don't get this. But tell me if you can hear what the king says. He looks right at them. Scowls looks down. Okay. Now watch. Even his sister looks their direction, ignores them. Yes, they look sad, it's a funeral, I get it. But watch what else happens. Watch him, this is gonna be interesting. These guys, he scowls at them. Watch. I ain't gonna lie, it is kind of weird. I don't know, maybe we just reading into it too much, but she might be on to something, I don't know. I, how did she catch that, first of all? <laughs> that was just like super quick. I don't know how she caught that. Like you blink, you miss it. Now watch, watch as the brothers enter. William and Harry. See, William, watch Harry. Scowls right at him. What is it? What is it about those two guys? They made the king, the king's brother, the king's sister, and the king's youngest son scowl at them in almost disdain. Scowls at them. Scowls, scowls at them. I don't know. Y'all think they were scowling or just a look or... Just coincidence, maybe? I don't know, it's pretty interesting. Interesting catch, nonetheless. Hope she figures out what that is. 
The Prophecies of Nostradamus Nostradamus was born in St. Remy de Provence, France, in December of 1503, and 500 years later, we are still discussing his prophecies. Wow. Nostradamus is said to have predicted the French Revolution, the rise of Nazi Germany, the pandemic of 2020, and more, all from a single book he published in the year 1555 titled The Prophecies. Since its initial publication, the book has received enormous attention from people all over the world, especially in the United States. And final prediction according to the book the world will come to a crashing end in the year 3797. Now what do you think? Subscribe and follow for more. They make it seem like it's gonna happen way before then. The way we talk, the way we hear things, global warming, global warming, different things happening. They make it seem like we won't even make it until then. It's interesting where you learn something new on TikTok all the time, man. Like, I never knew about this Nostradamus book now, but I guarantee now I'm going to see it everywhere. The most famous astrologer ever, Nostradamus, correctly predicted the age at which Queen Elizabeth would die and at which King Charles would become coronated. He also predicted that King Charles would advocate the throne and an unlikely successor would come about to be king. And a lot of people are thinking this means that Prince Harry is going to step in and be king. And this is really creepy because I did a video a couple months ago talking about how Prince Harry is going to move back to the UK in a couple of years. Uranus is going to conjunct his IC and his moon. This most always shows a long distance move. So Nostradamus was accurate about the first part. We'll see if he is about the second. I can say that it's kind of creepy that astrologically it does look like Harry's gonna back, going to go back to the United Kingdom. The most famous astrologer ever, Nostradamus. So, okay, we hear about the few that he's gotten correct. How many has he gotten wrong? We can't, like, skip and avoid that. We have to talk about the ones he's gotten wrong because this, you only hearing one side of it, I have you rushing to Amazon to buy the book. You know what I mean? And then just for the next several weeks, you're going to be just engulfed in that book, trying to go back, compare everything like that. But I don't know. Still interesting that he predicted that. You know what I mean? But I could say the same. I could make the same argument that if I made a book with a whole list, like some of them are going to hit. And then are y'all going to look at me like this great prophecy? If so, I need to get right now. I'm pretty sure I could nail a few of them. You know what I mean? So, you know what I mean? Not taking anything away from it, but I'm just saying. Nostradamus saw in his future three men that he called antichrists. One was Napoleon, the second one was Hitler, and the third one is the one that is to come, who is said to be the worst of all because he will learn from the mistakes of the others. Mm. A very dangerous person. He didn't like the term antichrist. He said it was a Christian term and it was not exactly what he meant. But he said if you think of Christ as representing people, humanity, an antichrist is someone who does terrible things against humanity, against people. And it can be the type of personality like Genghis Khan or Attila the Hun. The type that doesn't care anything about what it's doing, it only wants power. So this is what he meant by an antichrist. But the third one, he gave us a great deal of information about him because he wanted us to do something to stop the man. He said, in the Bible, in the book of Revelation, and other books in the Old Testament, the people saw the same things that he saw, the prophets did. They only put them in their symbolism they could understand in their time, but they all saw the same thing. And that the man he refers to as the Antichrist is the number 666 in the book of Revelation, called the Beast. Of course, he said 666 also refers to his connections with computers. So there's a lot more to it. But he has been predicted I already know what y'all are gonna do, man. Y'all gonna start listing and naming presidents or, or previous presidents, whatever, man. I know y'all, bro. Chill, y'all chill, man. But really think about that. Could that be true? Some truth to that, what she's saying? Really think about that before y'all just go and ran, throwing random names of people y'all despise in the comment section, man. I already know. The entire time she was talking, I was just, I was way ahead of y'all. I know where y'all headed though. But, um. That's interesting, man. Have any of y'all read the Nostradamus book? Let me know in the comment section, man. I don't know. It's it's kind of drawing me to it, but I just don't want to consume myself 
and think about in the times type stuff. You know? But y'all get at me in the comment section, man, and let me know what you thought of this video. Till next one, I'm gone. Peace.